I feel like it's really rushed and kind of forced on everyone. The sentiment on Halifax's deadline for more than 100 people who've been living in tents in certain parks to leave. City officials said Friday 25 people were still left, like Jay Campbell, who plans to take his tent elsewhere. People need to uh, be more uh, considerate when it comes to, uh, oh, they can just go live in a shelter when there's a lot of issues at those shelters. The municipality insists it's finding residence spots at places like this former hotel turned shelter rather than using force. As municipalities across the country struggle to address a persistent issue. Nova Scotia has, you know, smaller encampments than other provinces and we really, really need to work together, you know, province, municipality, all the NGOs to kind of really find the most dignified, healthy kind of spaces for folks. The scene in Halifax, a contrast to recent evictions in other cities like Vancouver and Edmonton. <laughs> Halifax is trying to avoid a repeat of the violence and arrests of similar evictions in 2021. Well, ideally, we would be able to house them. Like, ideally, we would be able to say, you know, here's a rent geared to income apartment um, that suits your needs. The problem is, is that we haven't had any of those units available for so long um, that it's resulted in, in mass encampments. These spaces were municipal parks to begin with. And according to a statement from the city of Halifax, once those living here leave, these spaces will be closed to the public until further notice for what it calls remediation. Heidi Petrachik, Global News, Halifax.